during the siege of Constantinople from August 15, 717, to August 15, 718, the Byzantine Empire, led by Emperor Leo III and assisted by Bulgar allies under King Turbulus, defended the city against the Umawe Caliphate. The Umawe forces were commanded by Islama ibn Abdul Malik and Suleiman the general. The exact number of troops on both sides is unknown, but the Umayyads may have had up to 200,000 soldiers. The siege of Constantinople was significant as it forced the Muslims to withdraw from Western Asia Minor. For many centuries, the primary objective of Muslim forces was to capture Constantinople due to its strategic location controlling access between the Mediterranean and the Black Sea, as well as guarding the entrance to Southern and Central Europe. Previous attempts in 655 and the 670s had been repelled by the Byzantines, but the most significant threat came during the siege of 717 to 718. Caliph Suleiman planned a major assault on Constantinople, aiming to overthrow Byzantine Emperor Theodosius III and install Leo the Isaurian as the new emperor. Emperor Leo III, a former peasant, immediately took measures to fortify the city. He replenished the granaries, repaired the walls, and installed siege engines. Constantinople was located on a promontory with natural harbors formed by the Golden Horn and the Sea of Marmara. The city was protected by both inner and outer walls, with the outer wall being four miles long. The population of Constantinople, normally half a million, increased significantly due to the influx of refugees during the siege. The only practical way to capture a heavily fortified city at that time was through blockade and starvation. The attackers needed to close both the Bosporus and the Dardanelles, which was challenging because Constantinople was located on the southern side of the Bosporus. The success of the Byzantine fleet was crucial in defending the city, even though it was outnumbered by the Umawe fleet. Maslama, the brother of the Caliph, commanded the operation against Constantinople. He led the land force of around 80,000 men while Suleiman the general commanded the fleet of 1,800 ships carrying another 80,000 men. Additional ships were being prepared in African and Egyptian ports, and a reserve army was assembling at Tarsus. Maslama reached Constantinople in August 717 and attempted a land attack, but it was repelled by the Byzantines. He then ordered his troops to surround their camp with a deep ditch and initiated a blockade of the city. Suleiman the general divided his fleet into two squadrons, one to cut off supplies via the Aegean and Dardanelles and the other to disrupt communications with the city from the Black Sea through the Bosporus. In early September, the second fleet approached the Golden Horn, where the Byzantine fleet was stationed. However, due to the strong current in the Bosporus, the leading Umawe ships became disoriented. Emperor Leo III lowered the great chain that protected the entrance to the harbor and engaged the fragmented Umawe fleet with Greek fire. The Byzantines destroyed 20 enemy ships and captured others before retreating to the Golden Horn as the main body of Suleiman's fleet approached. After Suleiman the general's failed attempt to force the strait and break the blockade of Constantinople, Emperor Leo III was able to resupply the city and prevent its surrender due to starvation. The situation for the besieging forces led by Maslama became even more challenging when Caliph Suleiman died, and his successor, Omar II, lacked military expertise. During the harsh winter, heavy snowfall afflicted the region, causing many of the besieging forces to perish. Despite the challenging conditions, Omar continued the land siege. However, in the spring of 718, a squadron of Egyptian ships arrived and closed off the Bosporus, followed by another squadron from Africa. These reinforcements aimed to strengthen the depleted land troops, who were reportedly resorting to cannibalism. However, many of the Christian crewmen on the Egyptian ships deserted, providing valuable intelligence to the Byzantines. Taking advantage of the enemy's unpreparedness, Emperor Leo III ordered the chain across the Bosporus to be lowered. His fleet engaged and defeated the Egyptian ships, with many Muslim vessels destroyed by Greek fire and others captured. This victory gave Leo control of the Bosporus, and he further bolstered his position by ferrying a substantial land force to the Asian side of the Sea of Marmara, where they trapped and routed Muslim troops. Emperor Leo also pursued diplomatic efforts, forming an alliance with Turbulus, the king of the Bulgars. Together, they confronted Maslama and achieved a decisive victory, Likely in July 718, around 22,000 Muslim troops were said to have been killed in this battle. Leo cleverly used disinformation, spreading rumors that the Franks were preparing to send significant forces to aid Constantinople. Facing mounting challenges and false reports of Frankish reinforcements, the Caliph recalled Maslama from the siege. On August 15, 718, exactly one year after the siege began, the Muslim forces lifted the siege. The fleet embarked the remaining troops, landing them on the Asian shore of the Sea of Marmara. However, as they sailed toward the Dardanelles, they encountered a severe storm. Only five galleys out of an estimated 2,560 in the siege returned to Syria and Alexandria. Of the land forces, which numbered over 200,000 according to some estimates, no more than 30,000 made it back home. 
In 739, Emperor Leo III achieved another significant victory that compelled the Muslims to withdraw from Western Asia Minor. His leadership played a crucial role in the ultimate Byzantine victory over the Umawe forces during the siege of Constantinople.